We're doing video too. Hey guys, Steve, KO4FL, and I'm here at Halibut Electronics with Mark Smitty Halibut, and he's going to go over what eggnogs and what products he has with us today. Mark, how are we doing? I'm doing okay. Real good. <clears throat> uh, you can tell it's near the end of the day though. <laughs> so, yep, uh, totally near the end of the day. Let's talk about eggnogs real quick. All right. Sounds what good. is eggnogs? So eggnogs is a kit to help you build an egg beater antenna. What is an egg beater antenna? An egg beater antenna is um, a antenna with a roughly hemispherical radiation pattern pointing up toward the sky. Um, so it has like a vertical antenna which talks to the horizon, but the vertical antenna has a deep null straight up. So it doesn't have very good coverage right above it. The egg beater antenna does have good coverage above it, so it can see the entire sky, which makes it ideal for use with satellites. Um, now, a lot of people use Yagi antennas with satellites, and they do, in fact, perform a lot better. However, you have to keep them pointed at your satellite. So the egg beater antenna kind of trades simplicity for gain. Right, so you, you have less gain on your antenna, but you have a much simpler antenna. No moving parts, you don't have to worry about pointing it in the sky. It can just kind of see the whole sky all at once. Eggnogs is a kit that helps you build an egg beater antenna. So everything that's here comes in the kit except for these wires. Uh, the wires you can get at the local hardware store, and there's a two inch PVC that you, pipe that you use as the mass that you can get at the local hardware store. But everything else here comes in the kit. There's the PVC cap, which I've dremeled out here so you can actually see inside. But there's the PVC cap with the holes drilled in the right places that comes with the kit. Uh, the circuit boards in here, uh, all the stainless steel hardware. And then on the circuit boards, this is a better view. Uh, this rectangular board here is, let me turn it that way so you can see it. This rectangular board here is the phasing board. These antennas, uh, they need to be fed 90 degrees out of phase. So you need to have a quarter wavelength of feed line between one of the loops and the other loop. And um, they are balanced antennas, so it should be balanced feed line. And the antennas are 100 ohm, so it should be 100 ohm feed line. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff happening here, so it should probably be shielded as well. I have never been able to find a 100 ohm balanced shielded feed line to make that phasing loop. So instead, I made the phasing loop out of a circuit board. And that's kind of the, the magic sauce that, that Eggnogs brings. Um, so the top board just kind of routes signals to the right places. The rectangular board here is the phasing loop. On the back side of that is a common mode current choke, also known as a ballon. Um, so we got a ballon built into it and then the feed point. Uh, this one, by default, they come with SMA, but you can also buy a, um, an upgrade to a BNC or a Type F if you're the type to use RG6 feed line. But all of this comes in the kit. And that gives you an egg beater antenna that has a hemispherical view of the sky. Um, it is definitely capable of receive and also moderate power levels on transmit. I don't have an exact number, but my target is 50 watts with intermittent transmission. Uh, I have tested 17 watts for a solid three minute transmission and it got warm but not dangerously warm. Uh, not like it was a problem kind of warm. So I'm pretty sure, and I haven't been able to test this yet, but I'm pretty sure it'll handle 50 watts uh, with like a 50% duty cycle if you're doing a QSO on a satellite. So that's the goal for that. Okay, very cool. What about if you have very low receive? What so do you have? If you are in a quiet environment and you have relatively low noise floor, but you want to boost up the receive signal, uh, normally you would use something called an LNA, which stands for low noise amplifier. Um, you can use any old LNA on eggnogs. There's nothing special about my LNA, uh, but most LNAs do not allow you to transmit, right? You need to be able to bypass the LNA when you want to transmit and then put it back in on receive. So this product here is called Amp Nogs, and Amp Nogs is powered by DC bias voltage on the coax. Um, and when you remove the DC bias voltage, the relay flips over and takes the LNA out of circuit. 
it bypasses the LNA. So no bias power, you're in transmit mode. You can transmit through, uh, through, this, the, through the relay. And then when you do put bias power on there, the relay switches over and it puts the LNA in circuit. So it is a transmit capable LNA. Um, some radios have the ability to do that automatically. The ICOM 9700, for example, can be configured to put bias power on the feed line on receive, and then it removes bias power like 10 milliseconds before it starts transmitting. Um, and that radio will do that natively. If you have a radio that does not do that natively, then the third product in this product line is called T-NOGS, T-E-A-N-O-G-S, because apparently when I make a pun, I have to stick with it. Um, T-NOGS is a bias T injector circuit, right? So RF to your radio from here, uh, RF up to your antenna out here, Anderson power pole or USB-C for power coming in here, and then there's a PTT socket. So if you're able to get a PTT signal out of your uh, radio, uh, most radios have that available on the accessory connector on the back of the radio, for example. Then this will put bias voltage on the feed line, except when you're pressing PTT. When the PTT gets triggered, it will remove bias from the feed line, putting amp nogs into transmit mode, and you transmit through it. And then when you're done with that, it will you know, release the PTT and it puts bias power back on the line and it turns on the LNA again. So these three together, make a egg beater antenna that is transmit capable um, with the goal being 50 watts of transmit and it has an LNA on the receive side as well. Very cool. Well, guys, I actually picked up a kit from Mark today, so be looking for some satellite info from me. I am gonna really start going. I got that 9700 at the house. We're going to put the egg beater on it, see what we can do. And I know I've kind of peeped this before, but I do have one of these kits to build as well, the common mode choke test kit. I know Carlos already did one, but I'm going to do it better. We'll <laughs> see how it goes. And as you guys know, I love Mark's OHIS stuff. I've actually been working with him today, helping him talk about it saving his voice a little bit. He has been my best salesperson. I do what I can for you, Mark. I appreciate all the help. I appreciate you, Thanks man. for Thank the interview. So much. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Be good humans. Be good humans.